Hello, Mr. 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 And x is the only unknown. Quadratic. Yeah, quadratic equation. Yeah. yeah if a is zero, it's not quadratic. It's a line. If a is zero, this thing is gone. So b x plus c equals zero. That, that's a line. A line. Okay. If you draw it as a function, it's a line. Yeah. Yeah. If we put this, what what do we call it? What do we call this? If we, if we if we if we plot the quadratic equation on a x y. Axis. Be yeah, it will be something like that. Yeah? Yeah. It will be, you know, like that. Yeah? Polar. 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 Yeah. Polar. Okay. Polar. So when A is facing up, uh, when A is uh, positive, it, the, the whole thing is facing up. Yeah? It could be something like that. Right? When A is negative, <laughs> it will be facing down. Right? When, if, the, if this graph intersects with the x axis, yeah, we call it, look, if it's something like that, yeah? So we have two intersection points. That's the root. That's the root. That's the root of the equation. So you have two equations, which is x1 equals 2 times a minus b plus b squared minus 4ac. And the other one, x2 equals 2 times a minus b minus b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so the, we have this. We have uh, proved this in the previous video, okay? so I'm, I'm not going to go into details this time. So look, so in what cases we have this line, this parabola <coughs> line equation has the intersection with the x axis? Mm. We look into this term, yeah, yeah, because the mm. square root of something, yeah. Is something. The x needs to be bigger or equal than zero, right? If it's negative, it doesn't have a real root. What I'm saying here is real root, okay? Real root. So this function has imaginary root, which is the other topic, right? okay? So if x is bigger or equal than zero, here, yeah? so b squared minus four times ac needs to be bigger or equal than zero. Okay, so one question: If it's b b squared equals minus four ac is equal to zero, what happened? If it's just one, if it, if this term is zero, what happened? What happened? What happened with the x one and x two? Yeah. Uh, if this is the same, what happened with x one and x two? It will be the same. It will be the same. Well done. So it will be the same. When we look at the graph in x y axis, what happened? What happened when it's the same? It will be what? If, if these two points become one single point, what happened? It will... What's this? What, what, what happened? What's... It will touch. Yeah, yeah, we're touching. Yeah? This, this, this thing will touch. Okay? The equation will touch. Ooh. Wow. Okay? Okay, okay. And the symmetric <laughs> axis. For the symmetric axis is what? Look, look. Look, this, this thing, yeah? Every line, look, this thing, if x1 here, x2 here, right? Uh, okay, actually, this is x2, this is x1. So look, this is in the meter. So the, this meter thing is x equals minus uh, 2 times a, b over 2 times a. Look, this is the axis, symmetric axis, yeah? Because look, x1 and x2 is has the same distance close to this x-axis, yeah? Symmetric, okay? Yeah. This is a symmetric axis. Okay, this is a quadratic, yeah? We talked about this a long time ago, okay? This is the mathematics. So now, today we're going to talk about this uh, continuous, continuous fraction. So what's, what's this? 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus. On going, yeah? What's the value of this? We don't know, right? It's hard. It's hard to look. But look, if I set this whole thing to x, yeah? x equals 1 plus this, right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so this is infinity. It repeats itself. The pattern repeats itself. Okay, so look, what's this bit? Uh, what, what's this bit? Uh, 1 plus... What's this bit? 1 plus... What's this bit? 
X. Uh, actually, no, no. Actually, it's this bit, yeah. This bit. One. Okay, X equals one plus this bit. Okay, this bit. Yeah, because I set the whole thing to to X. So this this thing, this thing, is it the same as X? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if I set this to x, so x equals 1 plus 1 over x, right? Mm -hmm. x is not equal to 0, right? Obviously, right? This thing is never going to be 0. If I times x, so that will be x squared equals x plus 1. Make sense? Mm -hmm. What's this function? Look, what's this function? x squared minus, if I move the right terms, terms from the right hand side to the left hand side, Minus one equals zero. Okay, what's this? What's uh, this? Quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. A equals one. B equals minus one. C equals minus one. Okay, so it has two roots, right? It has two roots. So x one equals two times a minus b plus b square minus four ac is b square minus 4ac will be plus 4 okay the other the other uh, root is the same but changing the sign okay one plus four right one minus square root of five is negative right mm -hmm. square root of five is more than one am i right mm -hmm. yeah because square root of four is two right square root of five is two point something so look the x2 is smaller than zero right so is, is this a positive or negative number? If you look at this one. Uh, huh? Looks like... Looks like positive or negative. Come on, guess. Uh, Do you see a negative sign here somewhere? No. Okay, so is this positive or negative? Positive. Yeah, it's obviously positive. One plus, one plus. Look, even this thing is so small. Yeah? The, this whole thing is bigger than zero, right? This whole thing is bigger than zero. So this whole thing is bigger than zero. Plus one is also bigger than zero. So this is smaller than zero. So it means that we don't use this. So the value is this one. So which is two times one plus square root of five. Okay? Yeah? yeah. What's this? What's the square root of five? What's the number of square root of five? Uh, what's, the, what's the value of square root of five? Come on. Two point something. Uh, Okay, so I, I, I think there's a minus sign here, okay? Uh, no, it's not a minus sign. Okay, two point something. Yeah. Two point something. Yeah. Okay, what's the square root of two point something? I think it's two point something. Wait, let me... Two point two three six, okay? So, plus one, and then divide <laughs> by two. Okay, it's 1.618, okay? So this value is 1.618. Something. What's this? Golden ratio. Golden ratio, exactly. What's golden ratio, remember? This whole thing, this whole thing is one, okay? Uh, let, let's say this whole thing is the A, a plus B. The longer, the longer this is A. Okay, and this is the shorter one, which is B. So, A plus B divided by A is equals to A divided by B. Okay, I think so, yeah? So, if we, if A is 1, for example, if, if B is 1, okay, if B is 1, okay, so this A square equals, A square equals A plus 1, A square minus A minus 1 equals 0, Okay, look, this is the same thing, yeah. Okay? Yeah? 1.618, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, so if I change this 1 to 2, what happened? So, let's say, okay, it's the same, yeah? So, it, instead of 1, I change it to 2. So, x equals 2 plus 2 over x, right? If I times multiply x at the same time, so x square equals 2x plus 2. x squared minus 2x minus 2 equals 0. So what's x? 
2 times a a is 1 yeah b my 2 times a minus b okay 2 times a minus b minus b is 2 plus minus b square 4 plus 4 times ac which is minus b square minus 4ac okay what you doing so this is a okay so that would be 1 plus minus 12 okay square root of 12 is square root of 4 times 3 is 2 times square root of 3 okay so if I divide it by 2 again that will be square root of 3 okay so this one this number square root of 3 is 1.732 something yeah minus 1 yeah uh, yeah plus, uh, we use the plus yeah because it's more than 1 if we minus that will be negative so plus it will be 2.3 732 okay uh, let me just double check let me just double check queen square root of three okay 1.732 okay <coughs> so if i want you if if we want to do to calculate this using the python code yeah how do we do it how do we do it Look, look at, uh, let's say x equals 1 over 1 plus 1 plus, okay, this thing, okay, yeah, so define, let's call it f, okay, so n, let's say we, we call it, uh, we want to iterate this n time, n time, so look, if, if n equal equals 0, then we just return, we can return what, we can just return if we're not iterating, we can return, we can get rid of this, then it will be 0 0.5, right? Yeah, 1 over 1 plus 1, okay? Okay, or we can keep this term, so 1 over 1 plus 1, 0 0.5, yeah, it's the same, yeah, it's the same. Otherwise, we return what? Return, return what? 1, look, look, 1, Divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1. Come on, how do we do this iteratively? Mm -hmm. huh? How do we put this iteratively? 1 plus f n minus 1. Right? Come on, you see this? I want to calculate this, basically. Anyway, I want to calculate this. Mm -hmm. So, n is the number of times we iterate okay if n is zero now we just return this bit yeah this bit is 0 0.5 right one over one plus one otherwise i would i it's equals to look one one point zero divided by one plus this whole thing okay so this whole thing this whole thing yeah one plus this whole thing is fn minus one right yeah Okay. Do you, do you get it? Do you get it? Yeah. Look, this function fn only depends on fn minus one. Yeah, fn minus one depends on fn minus two. So I I could I could put a cache here, but it doesn't. I mean, doesn't really matter, right? Because in order to calculate n, you need to fn minus one, and fn minus one is called each fn value is only called only used once we are not reusing it many times yeah okay so look if we we want to we can we can pass the parameters one here look this is one right all right so instead i could i could put another parameter a okay and then this one i change it to a here i change it to a here i need to pass the a again all right come on look at me and 1.0 look if I get rid of this, 1 over 1 plus, so it will be A, this will be A. A divided by A plus, what? A divided by A, so it will be 1, okay? It will be like that. Okay, if we, if we change this to A, okay? Change this, this to A. 
etc. Okay? We can do this iteratively, yeah? It'll be easier to do this iteratively. How can we do this? Uh, let's just write a line here, okay? So answer equals 0, 4, underscore, in range n. So now I just need to iterate. How, how can I iterate this? Answer equals what? Equals what? Answer equals what? A divided by A plus answer. Okay? That's it. We return answer. How, how, how's, how's that? Look, I already have this answer, right? So in the next iteration, I will be A divided by A plus answer. Alright, look at me. Why this is working? Right? Come on. Answer equals zero, right? And then answer equals a minus a plus answers. Look, this is this bit is answer, yeah? So in the next round, I can use reuse the answer in this a divided by a plus slide, right? Yeah? So why why do we need to care about this this value? Come on. Why do we need to care about this or this? Do, do you know why we, why we want to calculate this value? Yeah? Because this is a good approximation. If we keep doing that, this is approximation of getting the value of square root of 5 here. And this is getting the value of square root of 3. Okay? Yeah? Um, yeah? So, look. Long, long time ago, yeah? We, we don't know the value of square root of 5. How do you get a, How do you approximate the square root of 5? How do you get, calculate the square root of 3? Um, how, how do you approximate? You just uh, get the, the, um, the closest num the number that can be square equally... Um, yeah, we talked about this before, yeah? Look, square root of 5 is between... Square root of 4 and... Square root of nine. Nine, yeah. So it's between two and three, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a value between two and three. So I can, I can, I can do this. Two plus something, something square equals five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Make sense. Mm -hmm. So look, this. What's this? Four plus x square plus two times a times b, which is four x equals five. This is a very small part, so it's so small that we can ignore it for now. So let's ignore this term for now. So 4 plus 4 times x equals 5. x equals what? 0 0.25, right? So x means 0 0.25. So we have a good ex estimation is x is 0 0.25. So 2 plus x is 2.25, okay? This is the first estimation, right? Now we can keep iterating this, yeah? Anyway, look, look at this one. A plus B square. What's this? What's the value of this? A plus B square. Remember? Equals A square plus B square, B square plus what? Look, A square plus B square plus what? Come on. Plus B square. Two times AB. Come on, we talked about this before, yeah? Yeah? So look, two plus X. X is the part that comes with the, you know, is the square root of 5, yeah? 2 plus x squared equals 5. So it equals 4 plus x squared plus 4 times x equals 5. But because x is a fraction part, so it's so small that we ignore it for now. So x is 0 0.25. And we can keep iterating it. So let's say 2.25 plus x squared equals 5, right? You see? Yeah? So again, we can square root of this, square root of this, and then we get an adjustment term for that. And we can keep iterating it until we go get a good approximation. But for this one, look, we can just iterate for a few, for a few rounds, and then we we'll get a good estimation of square root of 5. And with this one, we get a good estimation of 2, right? Yeah? Do you get it? Yeah. Any questions so far? Any questions? Come on, any questions? Look, if, if we run this, if we run this, then will be, uh, that will be a very good estimation, okay? Very, very good estimation of the square root, okay? Yeah? Okay? That's it for today, okay?
Okay, let, let me show you the, the, the thing on my computer. Okay, look, we have this, look. Yeah, we have an implement list A, F, and G. If we call this function a hundred times, iterate times, we got a very good at, uh, estimation, okay? We get a very good estimation. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.